All right, I'm gonna taste this. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not gonna take a sip of it. That would be nasty. <laughs> everyone and welcome to this week's video also happy new year's eve i hope everyone is super excited for 2020 i know i am so something i wanted to try and i figure i might as well do it now and then start trying more of these is copycat recipes i see all of these different recipes online on pinterest and i always wonder is it actually as good as what they are saying? Can it really replace the original? And so I wanted to go ahead and try olive garden dressing. It is a staple, everyone loves it, and I wanted to try it to see if it is really better to make it at home or to just buy it at the restaurant or even at the store. So I'm gonna make three different, well actually, I'm only gonna make one because the rest I'm gonna buy, or I've already bought, yes. And so I'm going to make one recipe. I will provide the link down below. So if you wanna go ahead and make it or try it yourself, go for it. I have already bought the bottle version of the Olive Garden dressing. And then I'm gonna go buy some from the restaurant later on. And then I'm gonna test out to see which one I think is actually better. Can the copycat actually replace the original or even the actual bottled one that you can get at HEB or Costco or wherever you're at. And then I'm going to have Dane make up little salads using each of the dressings and I'm gonna taste it to see which one actually tastes better on a dressing. I'm not gonna know which one it is, so we'll see which one's actually better. Let's jump right in to making our dressing. As a side note, I've already read the instructions, so I can't screw this one up. Luckily, it's really easy and you just dump it all into a bowl. The first thing that you need for the copycat recipe is seven ounces of Italian salad dressing. So I just got this one, it works. All right. Now I need three fourths cup of extra virgin olive oil. So here's the olive oil I'm going to be using. It's produced in or it's a product of Italy, so it should be good. I think this is actually going to make a lot of dressing, and I don't know if I need that much. I'm just gonna have Olive Garden dressing for days. Probably should have cut this recipe in half, but too late now. All right, so that three fourths, oh, it's too short. That is good. And I'm gonna pour this in. It's so oily. I guess that's why it's called olive oil. Now I need one fourth cup and two tablespoons of white vinegar. Don't ask me why I have a huge jug of this. I'm pretty sure it's for barbecue sauce. I really don't know. One fourth cup. Ooh, that sucks. And then I need two tablespoons on top of that. This is not going to be easy. Pray for me, please. Oh, it's heavy. Do Okay. 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 Done. Done. Got it. We're good. One fourth cups of water. It's not cups, it's cup. One fourth cup of water. That would just be silly if you did one fourth cups. That's just weird. Alright, got Then one fourth of a cup. Half a teaspoon of sugar. No. I tried really hard to be extremely prepared this time, unlike last time, and I still need bait. I brought one teaspoon and not my half a teaspoon. So I need to go grab that. Okay, here's my half a teaspoon. Got it. I need to be very exact in my measurements because it needs to be as close to the original as possible. I can't mess this up. There are high stakes right now. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, like that. A teaspoon of salt. It doesn't fit. One fourth teaspoon of pepper. So Dan and I don't like pepper, so I only have this white pepper. So that's what I'm gonna use. If that's what makes or breaks this recipe, then that's it. One fourth teaspoon of garlic powder now. <laughs> I can't open this. 
Why is this not opening? Wow. There we go. Okay. And then I need a half a tablespoon of mayo. I didn't get my mayo out. So unprepared. I really tried hard. Why do I keep messing up? All right, I need a half a tablespoon of mayo. I don't even have half a tablespoon. <sighs> All right, I don't have a half a tablespoon in my fancy metal one, so we're gonna have to go to my plastic one. All right, all of the ingredients are in. Now we must stir. For that, I need a spoon, which I do not have. Well, I guess I have plenty of them. I have a bunch of tablespoons and teaspoons, but that's not what I need right now. I need a spoon. Spoon, let's go. You know what would be really nice for this? Is if you had one of those like dressing holders and you could just put it all in and then shake it. That would be a good thing to have. All right, so my mayonnaise isn't breaking up, but it's kind of looking similar to the Olive Garden one. I think this one looks a little bit more like creamy. I don't think it smells the same. Let me open this. I just want to see if it smells the same before I taste test them. I think I just messed up my lipstick. That's what I get for using my teeth to open things, which is a really bad habit to get into. You shouldn't do that. You could break a tooth. My dentist would be very mad at me. They definitely look very different. I really don't know. All right, I'm gonna taste this. You're <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gonna take a sip of it. That would be nasty. <laughs> All right, that smells a lot like olive oil. Just straight up olive oil. This one has the normal Olive Garden scent to it. I don't think I did anything wrong. Tastes like Olive Garden. Tastes like olive oil. Maybe because I didn't stir it. I need to stir it first. Get all of the ingredients going. Nope, tastes like olive oil. Put too much olive oil in it? Nah, the recipe said three fourths cup, right? Yeah, recipe said three fourths cup, so there's no way I put too much olive oil in it. All right, well, this one tastes more like Olive Garden to me. It doesn't surprise me, but we'll see which one's actually better once I get the Olive Garden dressing from the restaurant. So I will be back, give me some time, and then we will have a taste off. Which one actually tastes best? I will let you know in 30 minutes or so. Sounds good, bye. I know. You have to stay in here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> How upset are you? I'm gonna let you keep my keys or else it's gonna be angry. Here's my keys. You'll have fun. I'll be back. Red pepper. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. I now have my salads from Olive Garden as well as their dressing from the restaurant. However, I feel like it's the same as the one that you get at a grocery store, but we'll see. While we were out, Dave and I were talking about the dressing and how it tasted just straight like Olive Garden. And he reminded me that we have an immersion blender and that that would help combine all of the liquids together. So we're gonna try that now and see if it works better. All right. That definitely looks a little bit more like this guy. Maybe that was the key. Clearly, the instructions were incorrect. Nice to know now. Use an immersion blender, not a spoon. And now, I need help from Dane. Dane! 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go back home. All right. What are we doing here? You know what you're doing. I thought you were gonna explain it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I would like for you to make me some salads, please. Oh, no problem. Here you go. <laughs> no, you have to do with the different dressings. And All right. To get. And so I would like no tomatoes and no peppers, just lettuce. Like a real rabbit, please. All right. Okay, and then you have to remember Just which stuff. ones. Which one's which. Okay. And then I'm gonna try them. We'll just shuffle it. We can look on the camera afterwards. No, I need to know now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know which one's the best. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'll go ahead and let me know when you're ready. All right, sounds okay. good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Didn't forget it at all. Look, it's right in there. All right. Okay. We got some salads. Just off of looking at it, I think this is the one that I made. Yeah, what makes you think that? Because it has more specks in it. All right. Than this has in it. Eat up. You're not gonna stay with me? Nope. I'm out of here. You have to let me know which one's which. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay, That's not good experimenting. I thought you were We got it on video. Yeah, but that's not the same. We can review the evidence later. This one's one of these two. You can do that much. Why'd you put a fork and two of them and all three? I was using two forks to toss it. <laughs> I just threw two in there. Okay. They have different amounts of dressing on each. <laughs> this one's the real, real one I made. Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Do they taste different? A little different, yeah. This one had more flavor to it than than this one. Not that one, because I don't know what <laughs> Why did you put so much? I miss, like, just the fact that you put so much, I think it came from the bowl. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Salad soup, right? That's definitely the, the one that I made. It tastes like lots of olive oil. Not bad. So it tastes good. What's the difference between these? One's lighter than the other. Is that just how much I poured? No, I think it's like the flavor is lighter. All right. I'm going to say, just because I bought this before, that I think this one is this one and that is this. You got it. Really? Yeah. You got it. I like your dance. <laughs> so what we have learned here today that it's better as a soup. <laughs> no, that is incorrect. What we've learned here today is that the store-bought one has more flavor. The homemade one, although very good, definitely doesn't compare to the real deal or the store-bought one. And then the restaurant one is lighter. So clearly I was wrong in the assumption that these would be the same because they're prepackaged. Yeah. But they're not. Which one's your favorite though? Store bought one. Really? Yeah. Better than the, the actual olive oil. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, did you shake it up before you put it in? I did. You can review the video. <laughs> I will. <laughs> so store bought is the best. Like if you're going for flavor, then it would be this copycat recipe. This one actually, I don't know if it's just because it's fresher or something, it just doesn't have as much flavor in it. Sounds to me like don't go to Olive Garden. Really? <laughs> Unless you want those breadsticks, because mm -hmm. everybody wants those. Good point. Actually, do you want to try it? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we need votes, Dane. We need votes. Okay, All right. so this one's the homemade one. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> 
All right, all right. You gotta like stir it up. There you go. This one wasn't a soup. Maybe I just like olive oil, but I think that one's better. I think olive oil is good, but if you're going for the olive garden. You just shot down the one from the <laughs> <laughs> I would too. <laughs> <laughs> I am not incorrect. <laughs> this one, that homemade one is good. It's good, but it's not Olive Garden. Oh, okay. By Olive Garden. You mean the store bought Olive Garden? Yes. <laughs> good work. Alright, good work. Pepper, come here. You need to be on the video. By popular demand. Which one do you think is real? Alright, folks. Well, now you have it. Now you know. Which one is the best out of them all? At least which one I like the best. But you could try this too and let me know down in the comments what you think and see if you like the same one that I do. If you like the copycat, if you like the original, I don't know. And so clearly this one's the winner just because redheads are always right. Rip up her. She's so good. Anyways, so if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Rip up her. Hello. Yeah. And I will see y'all next time.